State not only gets those two picks, but Golden State also is on the clock with the number seven pick, the youngest team in the NBA, picking seventh. Commissioner David Stern has the card for a team that used 47 different starting lineups. Here's the commissioner. With the seventh pick in the 2009 NBA draft, the Golden State Warriors select Stephen Curry from Davidson College. so many fans who, are, who dislike the Golden State Warriors so much. <laughs> Actually, the reaction says it all. Nothing against Golden State, but these Nick fans wanted Stephen Curry, the 6'3 junior guard out of Davidson, who quite simply is the best shooter in the draft. Jay Billis, he led the nation in scoring at 28 points per game. What makes him special? Well, you mentioned it. He's an unbelievable shooter, and he's got great range. You know, if you cut him off at 23 feet, he'll move out to 25. If you cut him off at 25, he can take it out to 27. He's got really deep range. It goes beyond NBA range. And I think one of the things about, that you really love about him is he just knows how to play. He's not only a gifted scorer, but he knows how to get shots off. He's got a really, a really quick release. He can stop on a dime, and he's got a great understanding of the game, and he loves to play, and that's something that I don't think can be understated. The guy that loves to play is going to be in the gym all the time, and that's the way Stephen Curry is. He's an unusually good passer. He can anticipate defensively. He's not the type of player that's a, a superior athlete that can stay in front of super quick players, but he uses his craftiness. He's going to have to improve his decision-making a little bit with the ball in his hands, and his shot selection has got to get a little bit better. But last year with Davidson, a bad shot for Stephen Curry was usually better than a good shot for somebody else on his team, and he had to take some chances. I think his decisions will get much better as he goes on and plays more point guard in the NBA. It also continues a trend. At least one son of a former NBA player has now been selected in each of the last seven drafts. Stephen Curry, the son of Dell Curry. You wonder how he can shoot so well? Dad hit 1,245 career three-pointers in the NBA. It's natural for dad, catch, shoot, bottom of the net. Here's the reaction of dad when his son is picked to play in the league he played in. Del Curry now with Lisa Salters. Thanks, Stuart. Del, this is your 45th birthday today. How does this uh, rank among uh, all-time birthday presents? Uh, this is the best. It, to, for me to play on this level and then have your son follow in the footsteps and, and be a part of the NBA, it's, it's a father's dream come true. Now, you played in the league, obviously. What kind of advice have you given him about what to expect, challenges and otherwise, uh, in the NBA? Well, not a lot. Of, it's, the league's different than when I played. Uh, I think he'll face a lot of challenges, and then uh, I'll be able to guide him through those uh, challenges and adversities. Uh, so that's, that's how I help him the most. Thank you very much. Congratulations and happy birthday. Mark Jones, over to you. Yeah, big day for the Curry family. And, Steph, you recently told me you had a chance to speak with NBA point guard and all-star Chris Paul about the transition from a college point guard to an NBA point guard. What did he say to you? You know, just be consistent because every night you're going to be playing against the best in the world that, that uh, know that position very well. So you can't have any off nights. Uh, you can be friends off the court, but once you get on the court, it's all about you know business and, and taking care of that. So uh, that's some good advice. We just heard Lisa speak with your father. What part of the advice that he's given you along your journey to the NBA do you appreciate the most? I mean, it, this is the best job in the world. Um, I think growing up, he taught me how to do things the right way. And I can carry what I've learned going up uh, in my home uh, and, and just watching him do the way he did his NBA career. And uh, he really uh, applied to my life. So uh, I'm very excited about this opportunity. We're talking about the fact now that it's uh, about 20 after 8. Have you gotten him a birthday present yet? It's not midnight yet. It's I've still been a little birthday. busy. I'm still working on that. Uh, he understands that. So, you know, uh, we got a little connection where anything I get him, we'll be fine. All right. Well, I think he's proud of you anyway. Yes, sir. All right. Congratulations. Stu, back to you.
Thanks a lot, guys. Stephen Curry writes scripture on his shoes before every game. And these fans here are hoping that his next game would have been as a New York Knicks. The Knicks are on the clock.